Hey guys, it's Sun for Games, and welcome back for more Stormblood, which has officially been out for like two weeks since early access, although I haven't spent nearly enough of that time actually playing it. Like every few seconds on Ninja, I'm like, I don't know, am I having enough fun as Ninja? I could, I could change jobs, I could change right now, but I think I'm okay. The frog's pretty cool, but I have managed to squeeze a few levels of Ninja out and a couple hours of story quests as this really impressive expansion. There are a few quality of life things I kind of wish I knew though before starting off myself, so I wanted to throw out these top 5 tips for starting off Stormblood for anyone else who hasn't gotten that far yet, or even if you have. So let's get right into it. So tip number one, Aether Currents are back, and so is that compass of yours that you probably haven't used in like two years. So far it seems like some of them are actually like really out in the open, much more so than they were in Heavensward, but I also haven't gotten that far yet, so maybe like that's only because I've run into all the easy ones. I totally forgot until I ran face first into a current that I probably should be grabbing them and checking my compass every once in a while as I'm running through these spots. The areas so far are just massive, and some are split in the same way that Sea of Clouds was, so you won't be getting flight in those areas until the story quests get you through the second half of the zone. But it's still a good idea to grab as many currents as you can the first time through, so you don't have to double back through all those areas later. The quested currents are back too though, although at least this time around they have that like special this unlock something quest icon to distinguish them, which is really awesome. Keep an eye out for them, most of the quest lines that they've let me through so far have actually been pretty sweet, so I encourage you to do it even if you weren't going to already, which you are. I know a lot of people don't love the Aether Current setup where you just like have to run and find the spots, but I've always thought it was a cool way to keep you grounded for a little while, appreciate the size of the zone, the sites, the areas, before letting you loose to like fly wherever you want. I do just wish it was a little easier than the compass system, like if they just like appeared on your mini-map, if there was like a throbbing pulse when you're near one, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm close. That'd be kind of cool. Also, don't forget, you can use this thing on a chocobo. I don't think I realized that at first, or like wasn't a thing, but you don't have to get off the chocobo. You can just fire these things off right away. That wasted me a ton of time in heaven's work. Which sort of leads me to tip number two. Do those side quests. Besides the fact that most of the side quests I've done so far have been more interesting backstories than most of A Realm Reborn had entirely, you'll need that XP if you want to progress through the story. There's a real top tip gem for you. Do quests. Quest in an MMO. Don't skip the questing. I hit my first block quest a little way into the third-ish zone, which had a level 63 requirement. I wasn't that far off, I was like most of the way through 62, but I had to squeak out a few more quests and fates before I could keep going. This isn't that unusual, and frankly, I hadn't done a single roulette since starting off the new expansion. I mean, I, I was so excited about the stories and the zones and just everything in general that I wasn't like doing the leveling roulette. Just don't think that you can skip all the side quests, fates, and roulettes and still make your way to 70 on the story quests alone. You'll need to do something on the side. I guess I thought I'd make it to like 66 and they'd be like, oh, you can't go further, you gotta do a couple leveling roulettes. And I'm like, oh, you got me. But it was, I, 63? Like I was at 62 and they're like, oh, you're not, you're not high enough. And I was like, really? I just started the expansion, you're already telling me I'm, I can't do it, I can do it. But seriously, I'm not sure if it's just like the atmosphere, the environments, the overall conflict that we're dealing with this time around, but I've been loving some of these side quests. I cleared out a couple Aetherite camps, which is not like me, I'm not, I'm not like a completionist guy, but it's been a blast. I mean, I did one quest where I like picked some vegetables for some guy, and then afterwards he was like, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize you are the warrior of light. He was cool, he was a cool guy. So tip number three, and this is probably the one where most of you are going to be like, duh, you idiot, get in the game, man. But look into where these new jobs are if you're really excited to level them. I say this because I 100% expect it to be just like Heaven's Ward, where you'd, you'd enter this grand city, look on the map, and, and see these little map markers saying like, ah, this is where the machinists hang out. Come here and get machinists. I mean, that was pretty much how it worked, except Dark Knight, who was like hanging out under a bridge all pissed off. I'm pretty sure that was what he was doing. He was just like hanging around. Like, angry. Well, anyway, so I, as I entered the first main settlement, I started looking around, I was like, all right, there's no red mage, no samurai, but that's okay. It's probably in like the first real, real city. So I waited and quested, and I got to Gugane in all its full Japanese splendor, only to realize it wasn't there either. I was pretty convinced that a samurai would be hanging around Gugane waiting for me. Or is it Kugane? Should have looked that up before the video. Kugane or Kugane? Anyway, so I finally gave in and looked it up, and they were both in like, Ulda <laughs> the whole time. I try not to look up too many specific details before a new expansion, because I like to be surprised. I like to experience this stuff firsthand. So I had no idea. You don't have to have like made it to level 63 in the new city or anything like that. Like Heaven's Ward, you had to be 50 and into Heaven's Ward. And that was a lot, that was a lot of content. But I mean, I, <laughs> I would never have come across that. Like how many years would it have taken me to like dynamically find Red Mage 
in Ulda. I think it's in Ulda. So if leveling Red Major Samurai is your main goal, be smarter than me. <laughs> Look up where they are before you travel the world in search of enlightenment. That's never going to come because it's not out there. It's back in the main starting cities. <laughs> Which brings us to the oh my god, you can't be serious tip number four. Don't forget to fix your hotbars with the new roll abilities and 4.0 job changes. This one is mostly for those that maybe had like one dungeon left right before Stormblood and they've hopped on since the expansion. They're not really thinking about it. They just enter the duty roulette. But like a lot of jobs have had abilities renamed, removed, and even added in some cases. You probably figured out after like, you know, a few seconds of actually trying to play the job. But this tip was inspired by Katie who was determined to hop right into the duty finder right after the update with like half her hotbar grayed out because the abilities were just gone. The new role ability changes are pretty significant in general too, with many fan favorites reworked into this category, but also rebranded new abilities with some jobs that didn't have access to those before. I mean, stuff's all over the place, and it's totally worth really examining a little bit before you just hop into a, a dungeon or even just general combat. It certainly changed how I approach Ninja, and I'm still not sure if the group of abilities that I picked are actually the most optimal. They're probably not. I'm sure someone in the comments will let me know if I don't have the most optimal setup, but give me tips. Let me know what you guys are using. Uh, what do you think I can replace, swap out? I know some of these are, are awesome, so you're not making me get rid of those. So finally, we've got tip number five. Do not be afraid to try out some different jobs if you just hate what has happened to yours. Most jobs were just hit with the biggest widespread alteration since Heaven's Ward came out, and that's not even counting the new abilities that were introduced with the expansion. One of my tips for my How to Prepare for Stormblood video, which I'll link below if you missed it before, was to do as much research as possible to get a jump on the new job that seemed like it would be the most fun with all the new changes before everyone started ripping through levels into the fresh new endgame. But reality sets in, and ultimately, you just never know how a job is going to feel and so you get your hands on it, start playing with the new abilities, the new rotations, and the new UIs. All I'm saying is to be flexible. If you really, really just aren't having fun, switch it up, try something different. And remember, a job you once hated might be totally cool now with all the new stuff. A new expansion only comes once every two years, and it would just suck to look back and be like, man, I didn't enjoy any of that. I, I was fuddling through it all as shitty Lol Dragoon the entire time, just waiting for it to be more fun, it just never got more fun. Ultimately, it seems like the flow of this expansion is a little quicker than Heaven's Ward in a positive way, so catching back up shouldn't be something that's totally ridiculous if you want to start over again from 63, 65, or even higher. Especially with all the roulettes we have available to us now. Seriously, we have tons of roulettes now. I know you guys are probably all tired of hearing me say like, yes, we know that we can choose different jobs in an MMO, but like for, for serious. Sometimes I push through just being like, I can do it, it'll get more more fun, I can make it. Then I get to the end of the game and I'm like, that wasn't fun. Why did I do that? Like, just, just don't. Just start something else. Whether it's level 1, level 30, 50, 60. I mean, this is a great time even if you only have the one job because Red Mage and Samurai are both level 50 to begin with. Be as the blade of grass in the wind. Bending. Strong. I don't know. What? <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all I've got after my brief entry into the awesome new Stormblood expansion. Let me know in the comments what tips you guys think I missed, and as always, what you guys are leveling. If you're on Goblin, hit me up. I, we've got plenty of space in the free company. Uh, a few people have already reached out to me in-game to join, and while you're probably all farther along than I am, it would be awesome to get more people from the channel on one place. If you're not on Goblin, uh, we can figure stuff out too. Pretty sure that they just introduced some cool new cross-server stuff uh, that should allow us for all to get some more playtime in. I just don't really know how it works yet. Does anybody know how it works? If you guys rather wouldn't give up your free company stuff, I understand. I only have like 10 people actively in our free company, so that might not be what you're looking for. Link shell stuff, I don't know. We can figure something out. We can have a whole hunt for games link shell. Anyways, guys, thanks for sticking around. Like the video if you liked it and dislike if you didn't, but let me know why. These videos are for you guys, so I want to make them better wherever I can, and I love making them. Check back for more Stormblood videos coming, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, you should totally think about subscribing. I've got videos coming out twice a week, and if you like this one, there's at least a chance you like some of the others that are very similar to this, so live dangerously. Let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comments and other videos you'd like to see. And finally, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Hunting for Games to keep up with all the latest stuff. See ya!